Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll be diving into a topic that has been in my heart lately. Finding your identity in Christ. As women, it's easy to get caught up in societal expectations and base our worth on external factors like appearance or success. But the Bible offers a different perspective, defining our worth and identity, concerning our relationship with God. So let's explore how we can discover our true selves through faith and embrace the unique purpose God has for each of us. The Bible teaches that our identity is rooted in Christ, and this truth has the power to transform our lives. Ephesians 1.4 says, For He chose us in Him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in His sight. This verse reminds us that we are chosen and beloved by God, and our worth comes from our relationship with Him, not from the world's standards. As women, we often face societal pressures to conform to certain standards of beauty, success, or behavior. But in 1 Peter 3, 3, 4, the Bible says, Your beauty should not come from outward adornments, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. This verse encourages us to focus on developing our inner beauty and character, rather than striving for external validation. Another key aspect of finding our identity in Christ is understanding our calling and purpose. In Proverbs 31, 25, 26, it says, She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. This passage describes a woman who is confident, wise, and faithful, using her gifts and talents to serve others and glorify God. This is the kind of purpose we can find in Christ, a purpose that is fulfilling and meaningful. Finding our identity in Christ is a journey of self-discovery and faith. By basing our worth on our relationship with God, rather than external factors, we can develop our inner beauty and character. And by understanding our calling and purpose, we can embrace the unique plan God has for each of us. I hope this video has encouraged you to reflect on your own identity in Christ and to seek a deeper relationship with Him. Remember, you are chosen, beloved, and uniquely gifted with a purpose that is greater than any societal expectation. Absolutely, let's continue exploring the concept of finding your identity in Christ and how it can impact our daily lives as women. One of the most powerful aspects of finding our identity in Christ is the freedom it brings. In Galatians 5.1, the Bible says, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. When we base our worth on our relationship with God, we are no longer enslaved by the need for external validation or the pressure to conform to societal expectations. We can be free to be ourselves and embrace the unique person God created us to be. This freedom also allows us to pursue our passions and calling with confidence. In Proverbs 31, 16, it says, She considers a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. This verse describes a woman who is confident in her abilities and unafraid to pursue her goals. When we know who we are in Christ, we can pursue our dreams with boldness and trust in God's plan for our lives. Another benefit of finding our identity in Christ is the community and support it provides. In Romans 12.05, the Bible says, So in Christ, we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. When we are part of a community of believers, we can encourage and support one another in our faith and our daily lives. We can share our struggles, our triumphs, and our journeys of finding our identity in Christ. Finally, finding our identity in Christ brings us joy and peace. In John 15, 11, Jesus says, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. When we are rooted in our relationship with God, we can experience a deep and lasting joy that is not dependent on circumstances or external factors. In Philippians 4, 7, the Bible says, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This peace is a gift from God, available to us when we know who we are in Him. 
In summary, finding our identity in Christ brings freedom, confidence, community, and joy. It allows us to embrace our unique identities and pursue our passions with boldness. It connects us to a supportive community of believers, and it fills us with deep and lasting joy and peace. As women, we can find our true selves in Christ and experience the abundant life He has planned for us. Certainly, let's delve deeper into the practical ways we can cultivate our identity in Christ and experience the fullness of life He offers. First, prayer and reflection are crucial for developing our relationship with God and deepening our understanding of our identity in Him. In Matthew 6, 6, Jesus says, But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done secretly, will reward you. Spending quiet, intimate time with God allows us to hear His voice, discern His will, and gain clarity on our purpose and identity. Second, studying the Bible and applying its teachings to our lives is essential for understanding our identity in Christ. In 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17, it says, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. By reading and reflecting on scripture, we can learn about God's character, His plan for our lives, and the examples of faithful men and women throughout history. Third, serving others and using our gifts and talents for God's glory is a powerful way to embrace our identity in Christ. 1 Peter 4.10 says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. When we serve others and use our unique gifts for the good of others, we reflect the heart of Christ and experience the joy and fulfillment of living out our purpose. Fourth, surrounding ourselves with a supportive community of believers is crucial for encouragement, accountability, and growth in our faith. Hebrews 10, 24, 25 says, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. When we are part of a community of believers, we can share our struggles and triumphs, receive prayer and support, and grow in our understanding of our identity in Christ. Finally, cultivating an attitude of gratitude and choosing to trust God's plan for our lives is key to embracing our identity in Christ. In 1 Thessalonians 5.18, it says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. By choosing to be grateful and trusting in God's sovereignty, we can find contentment and peace, even in difficult circumstances. In summary, developing our identity in Christ requires intentional effort, including spending time in prayer and reflection, studying the Bible, serving others, being part of a supportive community, and cultivating an attitude of gratitude and trust. Recognizing our identity as children of God, understanding our identity as children of God, is a foundational aspect of our Christian identity. In 1 John 3, 1, it says, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, and that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. This truth not only gives us a sense of belonging and security, but also shapes our understanding of our worth and purpose. Understanding our identity in the body of Christ. As members of the body of Christ, we have a unique role to play in building up the church and furthering God's kingdom. In 1 Corinthians 12, 27, it says, Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. Embracing this identity helps us to see ourselves as part of a larger whole with gifts and talents that contribute to the overall health and growth of the church, embracing our identity as new creations in Christ. When we become followers of Christ, we are transformed and made new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. This truth reminds us that our past does not define us, and we have the opportunity to start anew in Christ. Understanding our identity in the kingdom of God. As citizens of the kingdom of God, we have dual citizenship in both the physical world and the spiritual realm. 
In Philippians 3.20 it says, But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Recognizing this identity helps us to keep an eternal perspective and prioritize the values and priorities of God's kingdom. Embracing our identity as ambassadors for Christ. As followers of Christ, we have been given the responsibility to represent Him in the world. In 2 Corinthians 5.20 it says, We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making His appeal through us. Embracing this identity gives us a sense of purpose and calling as we seek to share the love and truth of Christ with others. In summary, a deeper understanding of our identity in Christ involves recognizing ourselves as children of God, members of the body of Christ, new creations in Christ, citizens of the kingdom of God, and ambassadors for Christ as we embrace these dimensions of our identity. Thank you for joining me on this journey and I'll see you in my next video. God bless.